Assalamu alaikum. Recently, Bibum, one of the most famous media companies of India, has uploaded a video into their Facebook page which contains three super slow mo video shorts from the Realme 3 Pro, the Poco F1, and the Galaxy S10. All of the devices captured their slow mo videos in 960p on paper. But on the video, I have noticed a thing that the video from the Realme 3 Pro is not as smooth as the video from the Galaxy S10. After watching the video again and again, I doubted that the Realme 3 Pro didn't capture the video at 960fps. Then I proved it myself. So in this video, we are gonna prove that the Realme 3 Pro didn't capture that video at 960fps. I am Jubair from Syntex Surfer and let's prove it. First of all, let's know how does a smartphone takes 960fps slow-mo videos. But before knowing that, we need to know what is fps. The full meaning of FPS is frames per second. We know that a video file is nothing but a lot of compressed images. Normally in 30 FPS video recording, a smartphone or camera takes 30 images in every second. When the device compresses the images and converts to a video file, normally the video speed kept real time means 30 frames for 1 second. But in 960 FPS slow mo videos, the device captures 960 frames in every second. After finished capturing, the device converts it into a slow mo video by keeping 30 frames for 1 second. Suppose we have shooted a 5 second 960p slow mo video with the Galaxy S10. The Galaxy S10 playbacks its slow mo videos in 30 fps. So, in processing time, the Galaxy S10 converts the 5 second video clip to a 160 second slow mo video clip by slowing down the playback speed of the video 32 times. Yes, viewers, 32 times. Let's get back into our main topic. If the Realme 3 Pro can shoot its slow mo video at 960fps, it can easily keep 30 different frames for its 1 second video clip. But it can't. Let's see how. First of all, let's check Bibum's dead video's properties. The resolution of this video is not poor. Its resolution is Full HD+, plus. its bitrate is 4.1 Mbps, which is enough for a Full HD plus video clip. And finally, its frame rate is 30fps. Ok, let's close this window and open Adobe Premiere Pro. Then we need to click new project. After coming the new project window, we need to change the display format from time code to frames. Then let's hit the ok button. Let's drag and drop Bibum's that video clip. Let's zoom the timeline into its highest level. Now we can easily see every single frames of this video. Let's jump to the slow mo part of this video. Now let's try to see what happens if we slowly press the right arrow key on the keyboard. 1, 2, 3, 4. Can't believe your eyes? Yes, you are not dreaming. You are really watching this. The video from Realme 3 Pro is repeating its one frame for 4 times. Yes, 4 times. On the other hand, the Galaxy S10's video clip isn't repeating its one frame for 4 times because it really shooted its clip at 960fps. While shooting, at first the Galaxy S10 shooted a 960fps video, then in processing time, it converted the 960fps video to a 30fps video by slowing down the speed 32 times. On the other hand, the Realme 3 Pro shooted a 240fps video at first, then in post processing time, it converted the video to a 30fps video by stretching it 32 times. As a result, we saw in Primary Pro that the video from the Realme 3 Pro was repeating one frame for 4 times. Because a 240fps video can't be slowed down 32 times and convert into a 30fps video clip. It becomes a 7.5fps video clip if someone slows down the clip speed 32 times. Ok, let's see the fixed clip. A 240fps video can be slowed down 8 times if we convert it into a 30fps video clip. The reason why I have used Bibum's video clip is the Realme 3 Pro didn't launch in our country and it's currently also not available unofficially in our country. A massive thanks to Bibum team for uploading this video on their Facebook page. Maybe without this video we can't able to know the reality. So please go to their YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button if you didn't. Anyways guys, hope you liked the video, if you did, please hit the like button, share this video and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.